Hey, Helldivers and Night Owls of the gaming universe. Welcome back to Joystick News, your midnight rendezvous with all things gaming. Tonight, we're diving headfirst into the deep end of the latest patch notes for Evening Helldivers. Buckle up, because while the devs have been busy squashing bugs, there are a few gremlins they're still chasing down the corridors of this interstellar war zone. Let's break it down, piece by piece, and I'll throw in my two cents along the way. The fixes, what's new and improved. First off, the devs have been on a bug bashing spree, addressing those pesky crashes that have been plaguing our missions. Whether it was replicating ragdoll momentum, destructions, or the rewards at the mission's end, they've put in the work to make sure our gameplay is smoother than a super earth diplomat. Quick play matchmaking unblocked. For our PC comrades, the frustrating 100% block on quick play matchmaking is now a thing of the past. This fix alone is a game changer for those of us looking to jump into action without the wait. Mission difficulty tuning, those extract civilian missions. Yeah, they've been tuned up or down, depending on your view to offer a challenge that's just right not too hot, not too cold, but just enough to keep you on your toes. Platform authentication and backend performance. With improvements to platform authentication and backend communication, those black screen standoffs at startup and mid-game lag spikes should be taking a back seat, letting us focus on what we do best delivering democracy, one bullet at a time. Automatic retry for quick play and login errors. An automatic retry mechanism for quick play and clearer login error messages are also on the list, smoothing out those rough edges in our intergalactic service delivery. Known issues, the work continues. Now, onto the known issues. Yes, our battle against the bugs continues, with a few notable adversaries still at large. Login rate limiting and disconnections. With rate limiting at peak times and the dreaded mid-game disconnections, it seems our fight for freedom is just as fierce outside the battlefield. Delayed rewards. Rewards and progress delays are like waiting for backup in a firefight frustrating and, sometimes, downright demoralizing. The devs are on it, but patience, as they say, is a virtue. UI quirks and in-game freezes. UI issues and in-game freezes are the equivalent of a Helldiver getting their boot stuck in the mud, especially when it comes to object interaction. Not ideal when you've got a horde of bugs on your six, missing Japanese Vo and armor value glitches. And for our friends preferring Japanese Vo and those relying on their armor values, your concerns haven't gone unnoticed. Fixes are in the queue. My take, the good, the bad, and the glitchy. As a seasoned Helldiver and a connoisseur of chaos, here's my lowdown on this update. The good. The focus on crash fixes and performance improvements is a testament to the devs' dedication. The smoother gameplay and improved matchmaking are significant pluses, making for a more seamless and enjoyable experience. Enhancements to back-end performance and platform authentication are unsung heroes, ensuring our game time is less about waiting and more about playing. The bad. The persistence of login rate limiting and disconnection issues is a thorn in our side. In an ideal world, we'd see these ironed out sooner rather than later to keep the momentum of our campaigns. The glitchy. The ongoing UI issues and the peculiar case of the missing Japanese Vo are quirks that add character, but also frustration to our missions. Here's hoping they're addressed with the same fervor as the crash fixes. Final thoughts. In the grand scheme, Evening Helldivers continues to be a beacon of cooperative gaming, with these latest patches pushing us ever closer to the ideal. The devs are clearly committed to refining our experience, though the road is as rugged as the surface of a bug planet. What do you think of the latest updates? Are the fixes hitting the mark, or are the remaining issues a deal-breaker for you? Drop your thoughts, experiences, and perhaps a war story or two in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, give us a like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more late night dives into gaming's vast universe. Until next time, keep your stratagems ready and your aim true. This is Joystick News, signing off. Happy diving, Helldivers.